Welcome, this is 49E4 and we're talking about uniform and non-uniform fields. So let's have a look. So we need a way of graphically showing uh, the effects of charges uh, on their environment. Just like, you know, in, in geography we need a way of showing the effects of gravity on the environment. Um, and you can divide up the maps you kind of see into two broad types. There's one type where the field is uniform. So in this case, an electric field would be uniform. And I can make such a field if I have, say, a metal plate with an even distribution of positive charges on. And then I have a negative a metal plate with a negative distribution of charges, same amount of charges, just opposite sign. And what I'll find there is that I have a situation where, for instance, a positive charge would just flow from near the positive plate towards the negative plate. And if I had a series of positive charges, I'd see they all flowed parallel to each other. Hmm. So, a positive charge acts in an electric field the way that, for example, a boulder would act in a gravitational field. And so this is a, a, an analogy we have here. We have an embankment and you can imagine rolling boulders down the embankment and you would see that they'd stay parallel to each other. And you could say, well, actually, I could describe that embankment by talking about elevations, heights. And these height contours are like uh, what we call equi equal equipotential, equal voltage lines. And they're not the field lines. They're like a contour line. And the field line is like the path that would be worn by a boulder if you kept allowing it to roll down the hill. Do you notice something about this? The steepness of the slope is uniform. It doesn't matter if you're near the top or near the bottom, then the steepness is uniform. And it's the same thing here. If you look, your equipotential lines are evenly spaced. So if you want to see a uniform field, you can look for parallel electric field lines or you can look for parallel equipotential lines. And remember always that the field line always crosses at 90 degrees to the equipotential line. If I take the other extreme, where I have a non-uniform electric field, and the, probably the, the, the most classic example of that is an, is an isolated charge by itself. So in this case, I have a positive, a, a negative charge actually, this is a negative charge. And I have the uh, um, surrounding um, effect. And what we see is a couple of things. We'll see that the field lines point towards this negative charge. And we'll see that the equipotential lines are, well, it looks like it's circularly symmetrical here, but it's a two-dimensional diagram. It's really spherically symmetrical. Can you also notice that the equipotential lines are not evenly spaced? There's a big gap, and then a smaller gap, and a smaller gap, and a smaller gap. If I were to draw this, this is actually like a sinkhole. And basically, I can imagine that um, there's the rim above it. And you can imagine drawing equipotential lines, and what you see is... You see a line that goes like that, and then another one that goes like that, and then so on. And what you'd get is you get boulders rolling into it. So this is, in a way, much more interesting. There's a lot more going on here. Um, what would it be like if it was a positive charge? If it was a positive charge, it would be like a volcano. So here we'd see our contour lines and we see our boulders rolling away. So remember, use these, use these uh, uh, geographic or physical analogies 
for the electric field and they'll really help. So I'd like you to be able to identify uh, um, uniform fields and non-uniform fields by the way that their electric field lines pattern or the way their uh, equipotential lines pattern. I'd like you to know that electric field lines go from the positive to the negative. And I'd like you to be able to draw these patterns if I asked you to draw the patterns. So if I look here at just some, some questions. Um, is this field uniform or non-uniform? And this is a classic non-uniform field. Uh, by the way, it's also a negative charge inside because the field lines are pointing towards it. So it's a bit like a sinkhole. And then is this field uniform or non-uniform? And this is the classic uniform field. Again, the field lines go from the negative charges towards the positive, uh, from, sorry, from the positive charges towards the negative. And uh, we have uniformly spaced field lines and uniformly spaced equipotential lines. And then which direction the field lines point in a gravity field diagram? Well, the field lines point towards the mass. They point towards the Earth. Um, in which direction do the field lines point to in an electric field diagram? They point towards the negative charge. So a boulder rolling down a hill is like a positive charge following an electric field line. So if you can keep that kind of picture in your head, it really helps you visualize what's going on with electric and electrostatic fields. So there we have it.